hi welcome back to pink or tarot my name is z if you're new to the channel welcome to the channel thank you guys for subscribing and supporting the channel so before i get into the reading if you would like to book a personal reading with me all you have to do is just um click on the link in the description box below it's a link to my website where you can um book a reading with me make sure like when you're submitting your info like for the email because you got to type in your email address make sure you put in the, the right information because if you like misspell something that's like the wrong email address so i don't know where to send it to so um yeah that's pretty much it and if you're interested in following me on social media you can follow me on instagram and twitter at pink or tarot so yeah this is going to be for scorpio sun moon rising and venus for september 2020 this is your general love reading what messages do you have for Scorpios? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for September 2020. So we got Make the Effort. Make the Effort. What messages do you have for Scorpio? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for September 2020. So we got You Deserve Love. Wow. So you deserve love. I feel like you guys are need to like make the effort towards the love. It's like you deserve it, Scorpio. Give me one more for Scorpio. Sun rising in Venus. For September. Okay, passion. Ooh. So you guys, I feel like you guys are wanting your um your soulmate. Now a soulmate could be a friend too, or even a family member, but we got passion. I feel like this is what you're wanting. Like you could be wanting a passionate connection. And you're you wanting like you're calling in your soulmate. I forgot what I was okay. <laughs> Clarify make the effort. Clarify make the effort. Oh, I feel like for some guys you need to take action here toward it's like moving on. Tour. I feel like this is like about new love. Like you just moving on to um like you like moving on and like really wanting like a healthy relationship. Like no toxic nothing toxic, okay? Clarify, make the effort. It's like you tired, yeah. You want like a new beginning. But I feel like you need to make the effort here. Now you could be need to move on from something toxic. Or somebody toxic. But um... I feel like you have like a new beginning here because like you deserve a healthy relationship. I don't know why I keep hearing it, but like something healthy, nothing toxic. Because like this person is moving away. They're moving away from the conflict. Like they're tired. Clarify you deserve love. Yeah, we got the two of wands. So I do feel like you got you like you're making a decision here. Like this is like you I feel like you're making a decision about what you really want. Yeah, cuz like yeah, I look this devil card was below the seven of wands. Like you're fight I feel like you're fighting off toxic um toxic connections like you're just tired of it like you want something healthy like you deserve a healthy relationship clarify passion because like you can be like very passionate about somebody here but then it's like it could be toxic too with this Cause I feel like you're wanting like the healthiness of a relationship, like a good relationship, and also the passion to clarify passion. Yeah, we got the King of Cups. 
that came out. So this is definitely your energy, or you could be dealing with another water sign, whether you're male or female. It's like you coming up as the the king of cups, somebody who's like very passionate. And we got the lovers here too. So yeah, like a new connection, a new partnership. I'm seeing something new. Like you were leaving behind or like blocking anything toxic. Like one one sign of being toxic and it's like you're, you're like you're done you're blocking it clarify passion yeah so we got a, ooh. we got a nine of wands that came out see i feel like you guys are like very like hesitant here possibly about um a connection here like you have your guard up and there could be um a new connection too and it's like you're needing to make the effort here towards like possibly moving on from anything toxic like you could still be dealing with somebody who's like toxic here or you know it could be like a lot of conflict this is six of swords Oh, whoa, the hangman came out in reverse. So that means he, like for some of you guys, like you became enlightened here about some things that you need to move on from. Somebody could be dealing with the Pisces. What's the fool? It's like the light bulb went, on, went off in your head or somebody else's head that, hey, I need to move on from this. What's the, um, the full? Yeah, okay. We got the, the Eight of Swords. I feel like for some of you guys, you're scared here about, um, taking a leap of faith here. Like, towards a new beginning. Like, a new beginning in love could possibly, possibly scare you a little bit. What's the two of wands? Wow, the two of wands and the three of wands. So I do feel like you guys are wanting, like you're expecting something new here. But I feel like you made the decision here to move on from this. I see like you made the effort here towards like a new beginning. Or like wanting a new beginning and you could have been scared here you could be kind of like stuck in fear what's the nine of wands but you made the right decision with this two of wands and the three of wands like you made the right decision just know that what's the um the nine of wands yeah some things are about to shift here i see like a new a new beginning here with the um the empress this is something new um and we got the will of fortune here so i feel like you, you guys are moving out of this like you having your guard up like being very hesitant and guarded that's about to change with this Wheel of Fortune card. Like, you're, like, some things are about to start going right. And I do feel like, like, if you've been meeting, like, if you've been, like, meeting or dealing with, like, a lot of toxic people, where there's, like, always conflict involved in a relationship, it's, like, that's about to change. Like, you're about to start meeting the right people. Because, like, you know what you deserve. Like, you, you understand your worth right now, Scorpio. So, let me pull. I'm going to pull from this Kipper deck right here. Give me one for Scorpio for this spread. Give me one for Scorpio. Wow, we got concern. So for some years, you could be concerned here about a new beginning. Or you're like, you know, like you're a new beginning in love. You could be concerned. Give me one more for Scorpio. Yeah, wow, message of concern. 
So either you or somebody else could be like uh, reaching out to somebody here. Or it's like maybe you let somebody know like, hey, I'm, about, I'm moving on. And it could have left somebody concerned. And we got a false person at the bottom of the deck here. So I feel like you guys have moved on from a false person here. Where there was like conflict involved. So let's see. I'm going to put one more of these. Give me one more for Scorpio. Yeah, courtship. For some of you guys, you could have been dealing with some childish people. And it's like now you're moving on to people who are like more mature. Like people who are like on your level. We got courtship. I feel like this is like a new partnership. And this could also be like an old partnership too. But I feel like you guys are like um, making the effort here towards finding the right partnership. <clears throat> Give me one more for Scorpio. That was too many. Give me one more for Scorpio. Uh-oh. Um, that was... Let me get one. <laughs> Give me one more for Scorpio. Okay. Whoops. Main male. main male so for some of you guys there could be i don't know why i feel like this love reading is for a male scorpio so i hope it do resonate with somebody i mean it could be for a woman too but i feel like somebody's wanting to find like that main person like no outside people they just want that main person it's somebody who's like mature but um let's see Give me one for Scorpio. Give me one for Scorpio. Wow, detach and move on. Detach and move on. You guys are detaching and moving on from anything that is toxic or somebody who causes conflict. Give me one more for Scorpio. Yeah, joy. See, you guys are standing your ground. Some of you guys could have Libra in your chart. You guys are standing your ground and like protecting your energy at all costs from anybody or anything that, um, that is toxic or somebody who's giving off bad vibes here. I feel like one sign and it's like you're cutting them off like you have no problem with cutting them off and i feel like it's like protecting your joy and your happiness here so yeah that's pretty much the end of the reading i'm gonna end it right here hopefully it resonated with someone feel free to like comment and subscribe to the channel